Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to go over the skill progression and skill customization in Lost Ark. Now, Lost Ark is currently not out in the West, so I am playing on the Russian servers on the Russian version of the game with a fan-made English translation patch. So pretty much everything should be the same when it comes to all the abilities, all the ability progression and customization. The only thing that will change will be the ability names and how the descriptions read because this is just a translation and not a localization. So all the ability names will most likely be different, but pretty much everything else should be the exact same. Now the skill progression and skill customization in Lost Ark is actually pretty extensive for how simple it actually is. Now every class and every advanced class has their own list of completely unique abilities and all of them have their own customization. Now the main customization for the skills themselves in Lost Ark is the tripod system that you see here. Now how the tripod system works is that you have an ability and every time you level up in the game you'll be getting skill points. Now I am in a test area, so I have an, an infinite amount of skill points. Once you get to max level, you have a certain number of skill points to put in to the different skills you want to use. Now every skill point you put into a skill will increase the damage of that skill and the general stats of it. So this skill here hits for 143. If I put one point into it, it's now hitting for 186. And you can level up these skills up to a total of 12 times. Now that's going to take a lot more than 12 points. You can go all the way up to skill level 12. 12, and you have to be max level to get to this point. And then where the main customization comes in is the actual tripod portion itself. So you have these three tiers of upgrades you can choose from. Now you get the first tier of upgrades at skill level four, the second tier of upgrades is at skill level seven, and the third tier of upgrades is at skill level 10. And you can go two levels past that just for additional damage and stats on the ability. And I haven't gotten to the end game personally in this game, so I'm not sure if there's even a big reason to go past 10 or if everybody just goes to 10 to get the tripod upgrades. Now once you get to the levels to choose an upgrade you can just choose one of the three upgrades. Now every single skill is completely custom upgrades that are for that skill and they can pretty heavily change the way the ability works. So with this ability we could have it gain us more resources, we could increase the range that it moves you, you can increase the attack speed, and you can choose one on each row. And they're actually pretty easy to change. I'm not sure if it costs any resources at max level to change but at lower levels and leveling up, you can just change it however you want, just at a click of a button. And you get one upgrade for each row. And getting the tier two and tier three upgrades aren't necessarily stronger than say tier one, but usually on average, they're gonna be a bit stronger. So you can just go down and choose one on each row and then save it. And then your ability will have all these augments completely on them. And you can just change them whenever you want. As long as the ability is not a cooldown and you're not in combat, you can just go through and change these as much as you want. So just to show you how much different these abilities can be from going from a level one to a fully max level one, we're going to look at this Fist of Destruction ability. And this is currently at level one. So at level one, this just smashes the ground a few times. Then the final hit is a bigger smash, does a bit more damage, a growing AOE attack. And that's just a level one. Now, if we fully upgrade this ability to get all of our tripod up upgrades and make it do a lot more damage, and I'm going to choose to make it do a lot more hits, become a fire ability that applies burn to targets and then make it do a really big hit on the last slam. Now if we do the ability fully upgraded, now it hits much faster, has a big fiery effect on it, applies a burn to the target, has a really big hit on the last hit, and pretty much changes every part about that ability. And this Fist of Destruction ability doesn't actually change as much as you can change other abilities. So this one amazingly just changes how it deals damage, the amount of attacks it's doing, and adds an element to it. Some of the other abilities you can actually turn into combos, which are essentially you hold down the button and it keeps doing additional things. If you don't get stunned or CC'd out of it, it will do a combo attack. You can add a charge system to some abilities. So you can really change up abilities a lot more heavily. Some you can add CC, you can turn abilities into charge ups, you can make abilities be much faster, you can make abilities do different type of attacks. You could do an AoE circle on the ground, or you could do a targeted ability forward. A lot of abilities 
enemies will be able to be changed up to how you want to play with them. And that is just the basis of these skills in the tripod system. Now, once you get into the end game, there are more ways to augment this. And I'm not in the end game, so I'm not going to fully go over that. But once you get to the end game and you have those systems, as you'll see, if you scroll over any of these tripod upgrades, they will actually have different level stages on the tripod abilities themselves. So this one you'll see here is currently level one. Once you get to max level and get those systems, you can level them up so you could get this to level two. You could go down here and our great explosion, you can make it do 22% damage just from getting it from level one to level two. And you can get all of those up to max levels of five. So you can actually customize it more, increase the power of all your tripod upgrades, which will just tie more and more into your build and more into the play style you have chosen for yourself. So that is how the skill and tripod system works in Lost Ark. This isn't the only customization for your character and for your build in the game. Like I said, once you get into the end game, there'll be your gearing. There'll be what are essentially tier sets. You'll be able to get other effects on different items. So there'll be more customization, more additions to how you set up your build and how you set up your play style. But this is the main way you're going to go about creating the play style and build you want to use. So subscribe if you want to see more Lost Ark or other videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about the skill and tripod system in Lost Ark. And thanks for watching. Шаг удача. Зажги вс... Ступай, рыцарь, если тебе суждено быть...